So warm good morning all of you. We start with our workshop. I, I would uh, emphasize the point that we'll work like a workshop, not like a presenter talking as a monologue. Uh, that would be the sure way that we'll get something useful from each other. Yeah. See, so it's asthma has always been a very very interesting topic, and I think asthma is one of the uh, major condition because of which our science has become popular all over the world. You no. Know? Uh, the other aspect is that it's one of the very very common illness right now all over the world. Any part of the world that you're practicing, whether city or village, small towns, India or abroad, everywhere asthma is really frequent problem. The average number of people suffering from wheezing at least once a year is something like 27 percent in urban areas. You know. That's very high, and uh, that means anybody who wants to practice well must master asthma. You know, the other aspect is that there are so much of uncertainties and so much of despair connected to the illness. The illness affects men over so much, you know, that it's a very big concern for the patient and the family, as well as the employer. So wherever the person is affected by asthma, it's affecting a lot more people around him, and it's affecting his general life also. So we need to share in a way that uh, we can handle these people as well as possible. They can gain something out of it, you know. I think the number one purpose for any homeopath when he goes to a learn about homeopathy and asthma is the commonest concern is finding the right remedy. Hmm? That's why I think that's our first focus that we'll keep throughout our session as to how to get across or get over rather all the obstacles come in the way in finding the right remedy for an asthmatic but the whole issue is that in getting over those uh, in getting over those obstacles you need a lot of other correlations because all those obstacles are connected to some information and some application that we need to you know solve so rather than starting with any more theory let's start with a small case which you or any one of us can face in practice you know uh, and through that i think you know we'll be able to start with the right kind of orientation also this is one case which whom we had started treating a small child uh, seven years old child and she was on steroids when they brought you know she was brought to me we started treatment and it took around one week for uh, the steroid dose to be tapered and the day we tapered the last dose uh, of those drops which are being given prednisolone drops which are being used by the pediatrician in 12 hours she came down with this episode mm -hmm. this is a case of 94 she started with coriza yesterday it led to sneezing nasal discharge thick white she started becoming breathless, no fever. Uh, there was a change of weather last night, so that could be the reason. All the reason is that the dose is being tapered. Her appetite is normal. She has a little hoarse voice. Uh, there is no pain or anything, but she has cough. She has a headache since the evening. She's feeling chilly. The respiratory rate is already 32. She has ronkai now, which one there on the previous three days. Change of weather. Uh, the tongue was moist, she was looking quite dull. Hmm? Where does it take you from here? Do you think that ring some bells in your mind? How would you solve this? How would you go about? We are starting with a very basic way in which we work. That you take the case and then you think what you go, do further now. You look for characteristics, you make try to make a totality, you try to see whether you can crack the you know the current situation. It might help you that when we took the case, we defined the chronic and uh, that was coming to Calcutta Carb. Mm -hmm. But right now our focus is acute totality. Obviously, this part of the picture is not covered by calcara carb, that is very clear. So, we have to think of the deviation, that means some acute exervation related remedy. 
and then you control the acceleration and then you go further so that's the first issue when you present with a you are presented with an acute episode there are asthmatics who present to you with a picture which is directly matching with the whole constitutional chronic picture and there are some who come up with like this with quite a bit of deviation so any spot characteristics here which you would like to see in a repertory yeah you can try and see through the solving directly what can you select all this you like to select you like to wait you think there are characteristics you don't think there are characteristic please come out what do you think let's discuss what we think as characteristic we come to some consensus and then we go to the repertory right so this i thought was a good small experience you know with which we go further to more details and complexes of what happens in an asthmatic case come on let us be like our college day students you know like how we try to fight and argue yeah don't be serious practitioners no physical journals okay what else you can you feel you can make out what other points come to your mind asthma is often psychotic to your tubercular so you need to be sorry to solve it it's more quicker you can't wait for too long Just have a look. Second, look at the board again. You think all of them are strong characteristics? You'll feel confident. Suppose you have the back of the mind that you are treating a very difficult case, who didn't improve well, without on continuous steroid by the pediatrician. It's that kind of state of susceptibility, and you think you hit something well. You'd be sure what's happening. Let's see how many of these symptoms could still be common. the many common symptoms i would say we have a second look at the whole picture again if you look at there it carefully you would find some characteristics there has to be some characteristics always so what do you derive out of it sudden onset okay yes what else you similarly the same thing else separability is quite poor how would you conclude about that so you have to put this because you feel the nose to uh rs is fast right okay what else would you like to delete something Would you like to add something? Now we write this thing as characters. Now just see what rubric will take for uh, hoarseness of voice, for example. What rubric will take for hoarseness of voice as a characteristic in this case? See, the first level of difficulty in dealing with asthmatic is that the common symptoms they look so much uh, of impact on you that you tend you are concerned about solving them. you tend to catch them as characteristic and you tend to run about drugs which will then follow those common symptoms hmm now let's have a second look at the same picture i just tell you something and just look there is one characteristic which is hidden which is not in direct words but it is there and which is more powerful than anything that we have selected so far so no fever is not the fever is not expected symptom with asthma you don't know chills chilly feeling and chills are different right There is one characteristic which is hidden. You just read it carefully; it is there. And when you select it, you will find that it is much more powerful than anything that we have selected so far. Voice force. Voice force. So, what is the characteristic?